My chess friends, we love chess which is why we are here to observe a mind-blowing and insane chess game between the strongest computers in the world, Alpha Zero and Stockfish, I trapped Alpha's queen successfully in the middle game. Insanity is doing the same thing, over and over again, but expecting different results, Alpha started the game with e4, I played g6, of course I will follow the pirate opening which is the famous opening among the chess grandmasters, ok d4 bishop g7 knight c3 and we have d6, bishop g5 c6 queen d2, this queen d2 move contains a nice strategy, alpha want to play f4 to put my knight behind the pawn, this will help alpha to control more center squares in front of this king indian pawn structure, so knight d2. Nursing the pawns to play c5 or e5 in the future, knight f3 and I played b5, I want to develop my queenside quickly with bishop b7 queen c7, b4 will be a logical move to consider, c5 pawn break will be a permanent threat to which, rook c8 is the common move here, we have some natural moves, and a4, you may push the b4 pawn to target the knight, let me show you the variation, the best place for the knight is not the e2 square. It's the d1 square to get a better square to control the center like the f3 knight, bishop b7 c3 c5 rook c1, then after b3, knight e3 rook e1 black may play castle then push the d-pawn in a right time, the game can be played like this where white enjoys a nice structure and controls the center square heavily, the bishop fumetto is temporarily closed due to the structure. It is our choices, Harry, that show what we truly are, far more than our abilities, so back to the position, I played h6 first, bishop f4 then b4, knight d4 knight to f6, I sacrificed the pawn, to push the c pawn to c5, queen c4 g4, bishop on g3, here you may think of playing castle, bishop b7 or something dumb move, let me show you the variation, then alpha 0 will push the e pawn, d takes e5 d takes pawn, knight h5 then the amazing move white will consider, e6, targeting to the pawn with a queen threat. So after knight takes g3 we will capture on d7, knight takes rook is the best move for black, pawn takes c8 is equal to queen, takes takes and look at the position, white will get two major pieces for a hikaru rook and the remaining pieces will be in equal term, however black king position will be wide open after eliminating the dark square bishop. It is better to remain silent at the risk of being thought a fool, than to talk and remove all doubt of it, so back to the position, I played knight h5 first to target the bishop, c3 to maintain silent on this diagonal for the bishop, rook a7 and g4 is a threat, rook c1 g4 knight h4 and we have pieces exchanges on g3 square, playing knight e3 and knight f5 are the future plan to consider. I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work, so I decided to play knight e5, targeting to these pieces and sacrificing the knight himself, if you dare to capture the knight, let me show you the variation, then bishop d6 will target to your queen, the queen will be trapped, so back to the position, if you try to save the queen, let me show you the variation too, then knight takes e3 will win up a piece, rook b1 and you may think that the knight is already trapped there, how can he escape from there, but that's not the truth, black will arrange somehow to create an escaping route for the knight. Rook d1 may seem that you have gotten the knight but after c takes d4 which will target to the knight, black will able to rescue his knight. I may not have gone where I intended to go, but I think I have ended up where I needed to be, so back to the position, alpha played d takes e5, bishop e6 and his queen gets trapped in my hand, she has no square to go so alpha played e takes d6, targeting to the queen, pawn takes pawn, knight f5 to target the bishop, so after castle we have f3, I still didn't capture the queen, rook b8 rook f2 a5, still I didn't capture it because she can't go anywhere. Both players are just developing their position move by move, I finally take the queen, bishop takes c4 d5, opening up the diagonal for the queen, d5 was a best move, if you don't play it and play a low rated move for example rook b7, then bishop e5 move will get a great outpost for the bishop, everything will be safe and secure. A reader lives a thousand lives before he dies, said Jojen, the man who never reads lives only one.
So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.